Hi guys, my name is Nikolai Poznikov and today I want to show you new application I created. It's called File Analyzer. Uh, File Analyzer was inspired by numerous EDA or ECA tools out there and um, File Analyzer will create an inventory of your eDocs and emails and it lets you examine your data before uh, being sent out to a vendor. Um, file analyzer will scan inside PST files as well as will read directory lists. What separates file analyzer from other tools is it's very lightweight, it completely runs in memory, meaning it doesn't require a database server and it means you don't need an IT department to set it up and get it going. Uh, file analyzer is fast because it completely runs in memory and it's also free. You can go ahead and download a copy and try it for yourself. Let's take a look and see how it works. <coughs> I'm gonna open file analyzer and this is the main screen so what we're gonna do is we'll analyze a folder which contains some edocs and there is a PST file which is about 800 megabytes so I'm going to close this I am going to browse to this folder my computer choose my PST demo folder I'll maximize the program so you could see it better and I'm going to start and while it's running I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, some of the import settings that I have or inventory settings the option you see here in the inventory options scan inside PST files that means file analyzer will open the PST file and it will extract metadata um, extract email body tells um, file analyzer if it should go ahead and, re and read the body of an email so that you can work with that later if you choose that option you will be uh, you will be able to load less data at a time because it will take up so much more memory. Uh, the last option is inventory attachments will create a record for attachments to e emails as well. Uh, so that's optional you can go ahead and turn that on or you can keep it off which will clean which will keep the uh, set of data you're working with a little bit cleaner because you will have an attachments field which lists all the attachments there. Alright, as you see on the bottom, inventory had finished. Uh, we've analyzed an 800 megabyte PST file in less than a minute. And the log here tells us which folders ha inside the PST have been read and how many items they contain. And it tells us the start time and the end time. And if there were any error messages, this is the place they would show up. So let's go ahead and see how this data looks once it's loaded. I'm going to click on View Inventory and you will see a fairly standard uh, metadata grid. So you'll see we have a folder name, we have file name, extension, uh, date created, modified and so on. If we look lower, we'll see that these are PST items. That means they belong to a PST that were extracted from it. And if I'm going to scroll to the right, you'll see that this is where all my PST metadata is. I have my uh, PST name, who sent an email, who they send it to, and there's a subject, entry ID, send date, and so on. Um, so this grid gives you a convenient and quick view of looking at the data. Now, of course you want to actually analyze the data by some kind of criteria and you want to see what you have. So what we're going to do is we're going to build some filters and I'm going to click on this button refresh which generate filters based on the data you see in the grid. So now we can look at this data by extension. For example if I want to see all my txt files I just need to click here and all the text files will show up if I want to see my BAK files log and 
LQBS files, I can check them and apply the filter and it will show me multiple extensions at the same time. Another way to look at the, the emails, which is very convenient, is by name. And in this case, I have a filter that uh, gives me a from name of people who sent these emails. So if I click on a name, I can scroll all the way to the right and I will see that person's name and metadata and so on. And the same idea apply. I can select multiple names, apply the filter, and there they are. Now in this case I still have my extensions filter turned on, so let me go ahead and turn that off, reapply, and this is my data. Uh, more filtering, I can filter by my files or PST items and I can also uh, filter by file size <coughs> which is convenient if you look in to see if you have a large file, small files, how many of them you have and so on. So those are the filters. Uh, now all the way on the right you can see that we have a list of fields. So if you're working with just PST files and you don't want to see certain fields, you can just turn them off so they don't uh, clutter your screen space. And looking all the way on the bottom, we have um, an advanced uh, search builder. So this is where we can choose, uh, let's say, a field. And we're going to say, for example, two and I'm going to use condition like and I'm going to search for uh, let's say Matthew and in this case I'm going to need to use um, a, a wildcard so I'm going to type star Matthew star and I'm going to click on apply here in the bottom right and nothing shows up that is because I probably misspelled something because this Matthew has two T's. So let me apply this filter again. And you see we have all the emails that were sent to Matthew. Well, looking at metadata grid is good, but sometimes you actually want to see um, the, the, the email in the way, in the, in the format that it was written. So what we can do is click on this button called Show Details and this will open up an ex extra detail window. Now this is a good time to take advantage of dual monitors or Windows 7 snap to the side feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dock these windows to the sides and I'm also going to click on this button called grid focus which will um, hide all my filters and fields so we can concentrate on the data. So let's go ahead and click on the first email. And what you'll see here is, um, there we go, just did not refresh for a second there. And you'll see uh, what's called uh, a near native view of the email. And this uh, view is generated from the metadata fields you see, as well as uh, the HTML body of the email message. So we can go through the messages and we can see what we have. <coughs> Another convenient feature is adding a field. So if we want to mark documents in a certain way, we can add a field. And let's say we'll call this hot. Let's scroll all the way to the right and you see we have a field called hot. So I can go on through and I can mark all the hot documents. And what I can do later on is I can go to my advanced search here. Hot equals to Y. And I can apply my filter. And all I see are the hot documents. Um, one more way of going through and categorizing your data is to use this selected column. Um, we can go ahead and check certain items and then we can go back to for example another name we can check more items and check some more uh, and when we're done we can bring back all the selected items by going to selection 
selected. And now we have our final set of data, whether we mark them hot or not. All right. Uh, we can also batch mark everything you see on the screen as selected, or we can deselect that. <coughs> so now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the export options. I am going to click on the export and this bring, will bring up an export screen. I can choose um, <coughs> whether I want to just copy the files out, copy and compress them, or copy and compress and upload to an FTP site. So we can actually select all these options and we can do all these things in one click. Now I'm just going to uh, do the first two. So I'm going to go ahead and click on export. Actually, I'm going to change my uh, export folder first. Uh, by default, application exports to your temporary files folder. Uh, but you can choose that to use any folder you want. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and compress. So click on export. And it says export started.